Hello, my name is Akbar Arisuta and I am from 89C. And today I am going to make a tutorial of how to make a PC from scratch. So first things off, we uh, we have to prepare the tools and the things that we are going to put in the PC. Um, so first, here is the motherboard. This is an AMD motherboard from Ferro. More detail, this is an A5, A520. This is the CPU socket where you put the CPU. The RAM socket where yeah, where you put the RAM. A 24 pin power, power stick. An 8 pin power. This is for the CPU. This is for the whole motherboard. Here we have here this this for what do you call them? The four the four things. <laughs> The four things. This is for the a a SSD SATA. This is for the GPU. But for today, we don't have the GPU because I can't afford one, which which sucks. Okay. And this is the NVMe, the SSD NVMe, which I am not going to use today. We are going to use an SSD, an SSD SATA. Okay, before we start, we are going to prep the motherboard. So, first thing first, we are going to put the CPU in the motherboard. Where it should be pretty easy. Here, you just pull the pin out, pull the pin out, and just put the CPU. So, um, we have to very careful put the CPU on the CPU socket. Here, um, we can just pop right into this thing, surely. Okay, and now just pull the pin down, and boom, boom, shakalaka, it's done. Now, we are going to put the RAM sticks. So, this is this is should be easy. It's just pull these pins, pull, pull the pins out, boom. And just put the RAM sticks very, very carefully. So here, yeah. Well, if you can see this, if you can see this, it's it's not really that bright, but there are like these straight things here, and you need to uh, these straights have to be like in this um, thing, very perfect. <laughs> so just straight them straight straighten them and we just okay just pop in until they make a sound hear that very sad very satisfying <laughs> and we, sh we need to make the second one boom now that's done and now we are going to put the CPU cooler first things we need to put this thing into the back of the motherboard the motherboard <laughs> it's just boom and now we are ready to put the motherboard in okay the, the CPU color up. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the thing is, I forgot. Wait, hold up. No, it's not nuts. These things. I don't know. Well, if you buy, a, it depends on what CPU color you are using. But for today, we are going to use an. We are going to use a CPU color from Asicus, which is a big, really, really, really big CPU color. How to um, put them use these pins really carefully. And now we uh, use these things for the screws on the CPU cooler. Okay, now perfect. 
and now we just use these screws for tightening up okay now it's putting them the speed core before that we use the thermal paste the function of thermal paste is for cooling the CPU off but because uh, you know CPU can the CPU can reach up to 100 degrees Celsius which is very hot unlike your girlfriend uh -huh. to be honest it depends on you on which, on which pattern you want to use for the to put the CPU thermal paste for me it's just like you know circling it uh, there are very different different um different tracks yes and now we put the CPU color very very carefully a few moments later I know, whatever now we put these cables on the CPU color which you can really read this this is for the um, USB and this is for for the power yes this we switch them for the power we my, my the motherboard usually comes the CPU fan on here so I don't know when <laughs> I don't know other motherboards do this thing right here but it depends just put it inside and for the USB you should just put them here boom boom right nah, nah, boom that's it <laughs> okay then the motherboard now in for the casing <laughs> Dang. okay so after you screw the motherboard in and fitting them with the IO show and now it's time for the power cables to go in so here this is a 24 pin power cable you just need to put this in this thing until you hear the sound of a click well you don't really need to hear the sound of a click you just need to check if it's really really in so I think that's in very in it's like your friend haha <laughs> So here, this is a 8 pin power CPU. You just need this same thing. You need to put it inside. I think my hand is too big. Hold up. <laughs> okay, so I successfully put the 8 pin CPU on this one. And now, it's for the casing uh, cables. So here we have a. Um, it's not, I'm not mistaken, is that it's an audio cable. So the audio cable is gonna have to be here because if you can see the holes here, come on, focus, bro. Yeah, you can see there's like one hole missing in there, and there's one hole missing in this thing. So just pop it easily, not too much force. It can easily break. Boom. And that's done and now it's for this is the the what's the USB cable just pop it to boom now this is the one that I legitimately hate this is the this is this, the power LED cable HDD OLED power switch and the reset switch now this is you have to be very very focused you can see that you can see there's like multiple pins there yeah you need to put these pins individually very very hard you know so the pop is these power LEDs then you need to put them in a correct way you can't just do it randomly a few moments later okay so for these cables these little these little nut heads these make me so mad that I I actually 
off camera I, I I got so angry to <laughs> to make this um, apply so these are the LED things eh, sorry the camera didn't see so the if you, if you can see this this is the LED power LED minus we have to apply it on these green things these green needles if you can see so wait hold up let me try let me try to apply these a few moments later okay this one's done and now we just need to do the power switch for the power switch it's gonna be in this black thing I don't mean anything that necessary this black the black thing you see the black needle yeah, yeah that, that black needle yeah that's for the power switch so carefully boom shakalaka and now for the reset switch for the reset switch it will be at the bottom of the power switch so in here yeah i think that yeah yeah okay you can see okay i did it and this one more thing hdd led hdd led will be in the left or the left of the of the what of the reset switch okay so now that's done this is done i hate this and now for the s the sata ssd sata cables to be honest um it, it depends on which one you uh, connect this i don't really care so sure okay. okay these are connected very still okay we're done in the front oh yeah i did some um cable and uh, not cable uh, fan case management off camera oh, damn. and now this is the back of the pc this is a power supply unit uh and 650 watt 80 plus gold from msi and this is the set i put it here so it's not really that much uh, complicated for the cables <laughs> well it's it's pretty complicated if you can see this so it, the, the the one in the front you can connect it which in this thing you have to wait hold up you see that that little um thingy you have to put it so carefully boom and now this one the other one in the other one oops boom and now is the this the sata port from the power supply so you should just i don't know it's it's the same <laughs> it's the same So, oh god, this is very difficult, guys. Okay, boom. Okay, this one's done, and the second one will be the bottom one. A few moments later. Okay, I successfully connected the setup port from the PSU to the SATA SSD. Well, yeah, it's kind of messy, whatever. At least it's connected. And I think that's it. This is the case fam, if any, anyone is wondering. So, uh, yeah, that's... That's it. It's all the cables that you need to connect from the motherboard to the power supply unit. Okay, I need to organize this. I need to cable man manage it. I'm too lazy to get management. 
Alright, can let's just start this thing up. Hold up. Okay, so I if I already connected all the cables back there and let's see if this actually worked. Smell it on the right. Boom! Boom! Boom shakalaka! It worked! Uh, let's see if there's any like there's any display. <gasps> oh yes, Faro. Thank you. <laughs> yes, it works and alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, understand every word I said. So uh, yeah. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Yes.